revenge. Somebody might win it now. Now throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left. Touchdown, touchdown. A floor, come down. Hotel, lobby. Receptionist, what now? 11 a.m. Check out. Might give her one towel just to tell her it's one now. How come? I need rest, no recess on my schedule. Right. Mama used to serve vegetables, now half the meals got tentacles. Right. Half the emirates seen a reservation and half my money goes straight to taxes. But I don't trip about it, that's what happens when you got dreams closer than a match. And plus all your boys got expensive habits. Go. I know what they're thinking, they don't even gotta say it. No. They thinking they just made it. I know how to make everybody feel famous. famous. I don't gotta work no day shift. Day shift. I don't gotta split no payment. payment. I don't gotta answer questions. Right. And I don't need you to obey hey. it. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. Now, right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pounds. Pound. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown. Touch they they, they can't take it to 10. Hey. I just ran a check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I'm fine as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me by a cell. I could get it by myself. I could get it by myself.
I get the money, but I never switch. They say you switch, you won't get it. You know they came from the bottom, and now we just lit. You was lit. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. You hate cause I don't know this. Why bet you wanna be famous, huh? The LA they made us, huh? You know I'm Pisces in Vegas. Huh? This is the f that hate us, huh? I make a lot of new money, huh? When the f's not save us, huh? You be liking my flavor, huh? I think it's cause. Ice on the wrist, call on the wrist, call on the wrist. Watch out, kid. Honey, I dash, got it on, smash, foot on the gas, I will not crash, they will not stop me, tenfold, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky, I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man, no man, oh, deal with the hands, thought it could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on, smash, foot on the gas, I will not crash, honey, y'all, dash, 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 yeah. They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina. Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs. They on attack when they tackle like damager. They react and play it back on the camera. High boy, just consider me flammable. Sure shot, I got all the intangibles. Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal. Eat the competition up like a Hannibal. Know the game like I wrote up the manual. I do weekly what you do on the annual. MVP, that decision unanimous. Big jobs, I don't think they can handle it. Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors. Guaranteed, we emerge victorious. Years blessed, wet tears, is glorious. I remember when they all was ignoring the dash. Got it on, smash. Foot on the gas. I will not crash. They will not stop me. Tenfold, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky, I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man, no man, oh, deal with the hands, thought it could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on, smash, put on the gas, I will not crash, honey, y'all, dash, 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 they slept on the team, now they owe me, I need a ring and a trophy. I say I'm the best because I am. It's noted in keeping it low-key. I can call for the D like a turkey. I run straight through the D like a train. This year we ain't taking no losses. It's all about making the game. I hear a lot of trash talk. He call himself making a name. I put on a jet. The coach will regret even letting him stay in the game. See my route took a tumble. Next time be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. You just try not to fumble. Rumble, young man, rumble. Never slip nor stumble. I take off, poof, magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Footwork, fantastic. Dominating every facet, treat the pocket like plastic. They're gonna blitz, pass it. Got it on, smash, put on the gas. I will not crash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash.
the young new incredible one is the unforgettable you would joke like chapelle show this so perennial do this for my millennials i'll be murdering any flow i just had to let you know it's the young new incredible one is the unforgettable you would joke like chapelle show this so perennial do this for my millennials i'll be murdering any flow yeah. i just had to let you know yeah. All right, Coach, first open back in 2008. There's a look at Lucas Oil Stadium here in downtown Indy. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Indianapolis Colts. quarters of the NFL season are complete. What works in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Second down. Here go, now here following go. the sack, they'll look 61. to make amends on a second down hey, and 17. Up, Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. All right. Here we go. Let's go, D. Let's go. Let's go. Here's Minshew. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. An early tough eight, test eight, on the opening drive. This is third eight, and eight. Like yeah. Minshew throwing on third down. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack. Well, they changed that quickly. But did they ever? And it was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How were they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Nine Hines, his first carry. Only three yards on the pickup. They'll be left staring at a third and 14. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Let's go. 30 base. It's on field. Go, go. It's on field. Hey, it's on. Here we go, 37 is the mic. Mike 37, quit talking about it and bring it. Here we go, 37 is the mic. Let's go. So third and long, here's Minshew. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. And this one hits at the one, Let's continues go. on go. into the end zone for a touchback. Go 
Goal, goal. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Let him know, let him know. Check 24, check 24. Wentz got a throw. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Odell Beckham, an 80-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point try, good by Gano. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Here's second and seven eight, now from the 28. Hey, pick your game up. Deep rip, deep rip. On second down, Minshew. Campbell making the catch. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And he takes this one in for a close touchdown. Paris Campbell, his sixth touchdown of the season. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense. Not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calls and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end Ertz. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. It's a second down run with Sanders. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. 
Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. See State man, it's Jalen Samuels. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Mike Spurrell, back back. Ready! Sunday, Sunday. Kill, kill, kill. Going on first is Wentz. Man open, it's J.J. Ortega Whiteside. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. First and ten. I got you. I got you. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, watch the ship. Watch the ship. Check. Here's Beck and now it's a jet sweep. And that would cover beautifully. The defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Wentz on the give to Sanders. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. Looking for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on this play right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, what are you going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know that makes some adjustments. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here we go! 18 Gator. Bravo! Mike 56! Mike 56! Rip left, rip left! 56! Throwing on first down is Minshew. Catch made here by Campbell. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage.
Ready, ready. 56 is the mic. Switch up, switch up. Hey, team six, team six. 56, by 56. Let's pick it up. It's our time, guys. Our time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Now on second and 13, Minshew. It's held in by Brandon Cooks. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found the seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on there. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Balls out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. A terrific return here as he gets it down all the way inside the 30. Forget the idea of flipping the field. They have now put themselves in a position to score points with that big time return. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Too much extracurricular there. And you have a game with a lot of contact. Tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. Breaking the huddle first and goal as the return team has set him up with golden field position. Running right, here's Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play call, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Once again with Sanders. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coach, with standing by in Orlando. Stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Didn't have a receiver up and down, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It's way too tight, unable to find anyone open. And the 13 year man puts it through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the run. This is caught at the 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Brandon Cooks. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Colts strike quickly here for six points. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. Remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench. 
oxygen if he wants it as well. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. This will be taken short. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one. I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tough. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On second down, Samuels. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Second and six. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Once <laughs> now throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Wentz now 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. Gano's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40 yard line. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. Overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. On second and nine. Wentz. And this will be incomplete. He was looking for the ball back in that time. But now it's third down. There are a good number of coaches that any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Shotgun now for Wentz. And well, that is incomplete. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half. Still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially... Give him 15, and the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Through an opening, and there he goes. 20, 10, and they get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Marlon Mack, 76 yards. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. From the gun, then shoot the throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Match it all the way in and tuck it away. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then you've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try to get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you call before and realize it hasn't worked for something else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Throwing on second and eight. Wentz. It's caught by OBJ. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target, and he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second down, it's Sanders. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. First and ten, here's Wentz. Very quickly here, and that's complete. Give him a couple on the catch in second and eight. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Check four, check four. From the gun on third down, Williams. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. An effective seven yard third down conversion. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense. So that you can have people around the ball when it's caught. And you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. On second down now, it's Sanders. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point. So they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. They'll run with Sanders. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. That's a strong pick up right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run with Samuels. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Slam, slam, slam. Check three, check three, check three. Staying on the ground is Samuels. Defensively, they rallied the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. 
So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. But the right hash here should be an easy one. And Gano's kick is right through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on it. I was. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. So. <laughs> Let's go, well, here's the Let's deal. Go. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but all in Mack has the ball stripped, and it's picked up by the Eagles, and this one will be brought back to the 22. I mean, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not down in the fourth. Completes it to the fullback, Ham, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Wentz to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. Working for the gun, Reds. It's caught, back up. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. On first down, it's Samuels. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. On second and seven, Wentz toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, and that takes us from second to third down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense, but in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Now Wentz on third down. Open man, Arthago right side. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Gano's kick is good, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call him your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? He certainly does. Blitz coming, and down he goes. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. X3, 2 Hey, Haywood. 
He tripped. He tripped. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Third down and 16. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the gun is Minshew. That's complete to Marlon Mack. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31 yard line. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken at about the 14. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard run. Not too shabby. And we have reached the two-minute warning. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten. Desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. This is where you learn a lot about rookie quarterbacks. How can they run that two-minute drill? We're about to find out. Yeah, and for them, it's not just proving it to guys like you and me watching the game and trying to beat a defense. It's proving it to their teammates that they can have the confidence in them when they line up in these situations. A gain there of 21 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Here we go, here we go. Mike to 59. Right, watch the slap, watch the slap. Watch the slap. Watch the slap. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Samuels. Well, he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face match. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Quick throw complete on to Beckham. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 
The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. First and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and a PAT for the lead. Check safety, check safety. Down the man inside, down the man. Shift, shift. Two, 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 two. Check. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Watch the twist, watch the twist. Get the end, boys, get the end, get the end, come on. Let's go, dude, let's go. And 58 is the mic, go 58 is the mic. Back to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz in the final minute as they're now an extra point away from perhaps stealing one here in the final minute. A very important extra point there, up and good. And that is going to put him on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, 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 no. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. They this all the time. They it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect and he can't get a throw away he's taken down now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game they'll look to throw he's gonna let it fly And all the way down to the 26. So because of the yards after the catch, they'll wisely decline the P.I. Yeah, since it was pass interference, they would have gotten the yardage at the spot of the foul. But as you correctly noted, a little bit of run after catch for them. That extra yardage made it easy to decline the penalty. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. He's back to throw. Campbell making the catch. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Play. One final shot. They look to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Brandon, you know I love boxing, right? You know I love big fights, right? I had given them the standing eight count a few times along the way. And look at how this one ended. Yeah, they had, well, I guess nine lives just like a cat kept fighting. And there in the end, making the huge play to get the game winner. I guess that's the epitome of you always have a puncher's chance. And with the lead, no chance of a return spoiling this one here on the PAT. And the extra point for good measure is good and absolutely. 
absolutely thrilling finish as they win this one by six. Well, that was a fun game to witness, partner. A touchdown there. At